Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're looking at automating hammering gravel, sand, and cobblestone. And I set this up with Steve's factory manager and I just wanted to show you it and see if it'll help you out because I'm going to set this up in my world and let's kick her off. Okay, so Starting off, you do get you get an autonomous activator. Now, early on, you use it to auto sieve. Um, there's some videos out there how to automate the sieving process using Steve's uh, factory manager. Um, I know Funshine X, I think it is. Yeah, um, I've seen him do it, and um, I believe the Steve's factory manager mod author did one as well. Um, so you. Since you only get one to start off with, um, if you automate um, the auto sieving using um, the factory manager, then uh, that'll allow you to use your autonomous activator to create an auto hammer. And so what we've got here, so we've got an autonomous activator with um, hammers in it. Let's go ahead and take these out and I'll show you the whole thing. Now, um, inputs blue to the bottom. Then next we have a vacuum hopper um, to collect all the drops because they do fall everywhere and it outputs to the chest of the back. Now this is a block placer. This is open blocks. Now the thing with a block placer is it requires um, a redstone pulse to, not so much a pulse, but a redstone signal of high to place a block and this is what's going to place the block and then the uh, autonomous activator is going to hit it with a hammer and um, get you your gravel sand and well you don't need dust there's tons of it everywhere um, but that way you know it'll automate that so you can just toss um, some whatever you want to hammer into here and it'll place it and hammer it out. Um, we've, we've got the uh, inventory cables going all along here and then this is a redstone emitter with a block on top. Now we're applying a redstone signal to this block. Um, I was trying to get um, the redstone emitter and an inventory cable in one spot so I could put it right there but that didn't quite work and um, so however you want to set this up just make sure that um, you need a redstone emitter touching the, the block placer as well as an inventory cable to put stuff in there and detect um, whether or not it has stuff in there. Uh, so we've got two barrels one full of cobblestone one full of wood and this is to create your hammer and here's an inventory chest full of um, the items that you'll need and you'll not you won't need to do these guys um, this is done automatically so now let's get to the code and um, so I created two groups one of them creates the hammer the other well it creates the hammer and moves the hammer into the autonomous activator the other places a block um, let's go over block placing because that one's really quick um, so we've got a trigger obviously um, it's just an interval I have it set to six seconds it takes about five seconds for a stone hammer to hammer through um, cobblestone you can set it for lower if um, if you have like sand or gravel because it does it a lot quicker and um, that's obviously something you can do I just set it for six because it makes it easier um, and then I set a condition uh, for inventories if there is cobblestone gravel or sand in the block placer then I want to um, pulse the emitter so make sure you use a strong signal because you need to power the block next to it unless of course you have the emitter right next to the block placer which you only need a weak, a weak signal which will help from uh, sending any redstone anywhere else. Um, the output signal you need to set to toggle and then I put a pulse 
And what that'll do is it'll pulse it up and then down. And then while it's not doing anything, it'll be off. Now, I have a false condition. So if this condition is not met, this turns the emitter off. So the, the sides don't matter. Output doesn't matter. Output, leave to fixed. And then um, I have the redstone strength to zero. So it'll turn off the redstone signal. So that's the emitter. And um, if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see the redstone lamp kick off up here. There it goes. And you even heard it place a block. I know six seconds is a long time to wait, but... Um, <laughs> oh, and it just broke it with the, um, <laughs> the finger. Okay, so that's the placer. Now let's go over creating the hammer. So obviously we're going to need... Um, to create a hammer, we'll need sticks and cobblestone. Cobblestone, we have a barrel full. Sticks... Um, uh, we'll need and planks we'll need so here we're taking uh, from the inventory we are taking wood and then just crafting it into planks and sending it into the furthest chest that's our output chest and then if we look at that go ahead and connect that um, we also have it set to, um, so the output items, um, if you specify amount of four, it will always keep an, um, four in there at all times. Oh, here, there it is. Okay, a white list of, of four, you just right click on that and you can specify an amount. Um, so if we go over, let's let's do this. So I don't have to jump. Um, so anytime I grab those, it'll make it'll make more. So then um, we're doing the same thing with the sticks. So there's our sticks. And then, so let's go ahead and grab these. So, and then we want, um, so, and then we're crafting the hammer. So here's a little different. Make sure you have the inventory. I just clicked on them both because, um, let's see, it's this one here. But I just clicked on them both. Uh, as long as you whitelist, um, the sticks and the cobblestone is what you're going to need because um, you're pulling the sticks from the chest and you're pulling the cobblestone from the barrel then you're crafting it and then you're putting it in the chest and then there's that now the last um, thing on there is moving the hammer over to the autonomous activator, which is here, which you just grab an input, um, grab the hammer, and output it to the autonomous activator. Now uh, be sure to um, enable the side you have the inventory um, connected to. I mean. Um, obviously the inventory connect to but you need the right one set to blue in order to put the items in there so what you could do is you can set blue even though that's on the top if I um, target the top it'll act as if it's putting it inside the top so what it's going to do is it's going to move the hammer over so let's go ahead and enable that which I think that's kind of cool. It's even though it's connected to the bottom, it says, "Oh, I'm putting this in the top," and it's putting the hammer in. So anytime we need a hammer, a hammer gets used. It's 131 uses, so you'll get quite a few uses. But it's a way to put the hammers back in. Um, you could obviously use a hopper if you want. And um, so there you go. Let's go ahead and enable the placer. 
and you can see it in action. And the um, vacuum hopper picks it up. You could also use one of the um, the inventory. I forget what they're called. Uh, the Steve's factory manager ones that picks the items up. I just use that. That's fine for me. <laughs> and it requires more coding. Hey, so I hope this helped you guys out. I uh, hope you give you something new to build. All right, guys. Take care and have a good one.